it's Steve Wilshire, and welcome back to my seven day video series on how to diminish anxiety and depression. We're on day five. If you haven't had a chance to watch the other four videos, I'm telling you, there's a series. It's kind of a, like a story of how to get in this empowering state. So many people are dealing with anxiety and depression, and regardless if you are or not, today's message is all about personal power. It's what has us feel powerful. And some of you that aren't maybe feeling anxiety, you know, you might be in a little bit of a constant state of what I call pre-mature peacefulness. You know, your life's kind of constant. You're really probably not rocking life. You know, we start to evolve. We start to feel change. We feel change. We often feel uncomfortable. And I'm not saying get crazy, but I'm saying that, you know, monitor it, kind of check yourself out. You know, am I growing? Am I achieving things? Am I feeling good about what I'm up to? And at the end of the day, it's about feeling empowered. You know, when you think of it, there's two powers. You feel powerful or you feel powerless. And when you feel powerless, often it's because you're in some kind of external state. You're comparing and measuring, or you're assuming, or you're wondering what people are thinking, or you're questioning yourself, and it usually has to do with other people. And so, here's what I want you to know. Your measuring stick is how fulfilled you feel. When you start noticing that you feel alive and expressed, you feel fulfilled. And when you feel fulfilled, it comes down to you feel empowered. Empowered choices bring on fulfillment that permeate into self-expressed aliveness. And at the end of the day, you wanna feel alive. So the key word is powerful. What has you feel powerful? Feeling empowered is being in a state of choice. And what can you control? You can control your thoughts, you can control your attitude, disposition, you can control the choices, the actions that you take. Even that is somewhat difficult. We all get that. So it's this practice and it's noticing what has us feel powerless and what has us feel powerful. So I know that I could give you a 21 day challenge and that 21 day challenge would be for you to define what has you feel powerful and put that on a like five by seven card, something by your nightstand that you can look at first thing in the morning. You ask yourself, what has me feel powerful? And then at the end of the day, ask yourself, how well did I do on a scale of one to 10 about making empowering decisions? And at the end of the day, you get to monitor and notice where did I go south on feeling empowering? Feeling empowered, making these empowering decisions. And you don't judge it. You know, if you judge it and you browbeat yourself and you question yourself, it's like bad news is coming in through the back door. That's when you start to feel this diminished power. And so it's all about really making empowering decisions. And this is when you start to notice you're experiencing it. You know, you actually have what we talked about during part one, you have a map, you have these practices that you do that gets you into this empowering state. Because when it all comes down to my friends, it's about esteem and esteem is defined by you. You get to decide what esteem means. Esteem is defined by you. You get to decide what esteem is, and that's standards. It's meeting your standards. That's operating in a state of excellence, defined by you. Not what your mom thinks, not what your spouse thinks, not what other people think, not what you assume you need to be doing to meet the public or external world's expectation. That's all BS. That's not you being in your power. And the pause button sometimes is what it's all about. Just noticing, we talked about those triggers that start to come in. You gotta know thyself. And many of you, what, has a, that, what gives you a really big power leak is confrontation. You don't wanna deal with confronting people. You know, one of my favorite phrases that I use when someone, uh, I'm, when I'm challenged with a judgment by somebody else, I just say, what did you just say to me? Whether I'm on the phone or whether I'm in person, what did you just say to me? And I stop and pause and watch people backpedal. I said, well, I just want to get clear. Do you have expectations of me? What's your motive? And you start noticing there are these triggers and there are these tips and words and questions 
that have you feel powerful because at the end of the day, it's all about how you express yourself and communicate. A lot of that's in the ebook, how I diminish anxiety and depression without drugs. All you have to do is download that. All the details are in the post. So I got a question for you. Post, what might you do this week that would have you feel empowered? Come on, don't post a yes or a no. Post, what might you do this week that would have you feel empowered? Want more? All about health. Emotional health, intellectual health, physical health, spiritual health. Join the Body Temple Movement. Facebook.com forward slash Body Temple LOC. I'll see you there. Have a great day. Love and success.